What is happening, everybody? This is Cody, aka DFS Prodigy, coming to you live, breaking down this upcoming DraftKings slate featuring Sunday Night Football, Packers at San Francisco. Before we begin, hit the like button for me, definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's what a ton of y'all know. I'm just getting home, so this video will be out. Y'all still got about an hour for the game. I'm excited about the slate, though. Again, guys, hit the like button for me. Definitely subscribe. Come hop into the Discord, chat it up with us for this tonight's game. So let's start off with Green Bay. I love Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams. Obviously, this combo is going to get it done once again. I'm fading Aaron Jones here. I don't really like Aaron Jones in this matchup. I'd much rather go to Devontae Adams, who is in a big bounce back game. But Aaron Rodgers is obviously one of my core plays on this slate. You cannot go wrong with Aaron Rodgers. Robert Tonian, looking at him at 6'8", he's very touchdown dependent. And a little bit high priced, in my opinion. I'm kind of fading that as a whole. I'm not going to need a Jordan Love, obviously. I don't see Aaron Rodgers sitting out this game whatsoever. MVS, Randall Cobb, Lazard. What are we going to do with these three receivers? That is the biggest question out of the slate. So for me, I like Randall Cobb. I do. I think they're going to involve him a little bit more. But I want MVS. I just like the big playability. I think if he can get one step around the quarterback, he's going to be in for a big game. Lazard, they like him more of as a blocking passer. So in my opinion, I'm fading him. If I had a ranky, it would literally be MVS, Randall Cobb, and Alan Zard. I just don't want any piece of Alan Zard right now. Crosby, obviously, in play, the kicker. I don't mind him. And then AJ Dillon, obviously, if he's going to get the goal line back, you would see a few more touches. But I like him as a prop. I don't really like him on this slate for the DraftKings numbers. Starting with San Fran now. Jimmy Garoppolo. W. Samuel. Obviously, a one two punch. I love Samuel, eight, nine four. He's one of my core plays. Once again, I like the upside he brings to the table with number one receiver. He's obviously taken over for Brandon Ayuk. I love him here. Jimmy G, if you want to get to him and Samuel as a combo, I like that as a whole. George Kittle, way too underpriced, in my opinion, at 8 2. I love his upside at only 8 2. Mitchell is doubtful, so don't play him. He's in the scheme of what are we going to do with these running backs. Let's go to the depth chart, though. Mitchell doubtful. Carry on Johnson signed with the team. Patrick signed with the team. Cannon, no Jeff Wilson, no Hasty, no Moster, obviously. So Cannon, one of the special teams kind of guy. Patrick belongs in the XFL where he was behind a great offensive line there and a good run scheme. I don't see him doing well in the NFL. Then you have Carry on Johnson, you have Trey Sermon. So I like Carry on Johnson, I like Trey Sermon. Uh, Sermon's one of my core picks also. I love him. If you want to get some Carry on Johnson, I would not blame you one bit. We're looking at Brendan Ayuk, 5'6", way too cheap. But I just this season, is not for him. I think he's going to need to be basically in a rebuilt mode coming into the next game. Robbie Gold, obviously kicking ability. I like him and Mason Crosby. I'm not getting the ease of the defense as a whole. And then Sanu, not really for me. So, again, that's kind of where I'm looking at for the slate. I like this slate as a whole. I think there's a lot of hedges that you can go to. But, again, guys, thank you for tuning in. Hope everybody's good and safe for the rest of their night. And let's go watch some Sunday Night Football.